Howdy guys and gals and welcome back to Snow Fog Outdoors. Today's video is a whole lot of goodness in a little box. I get several emails from knife companies and like Blade HQ and Knife Center and uh, Smoky Mountain Knife Works and Trade and you know, just because I sign up for their newsletters and, you know, I, I do make purchases through these companies. I don't get anything free from these companies whatsoever. I uh, I just sign up for their uh, emails. And I was, I was going through an email and they had, I think it was from Knife Center. Was it Knife Center? I believe so. And they give you a, a listing of new knives that come out. So I always knowing that I can't afford them at the time. I always click through and look and put them on a wish list, whatever. And this little bugger came up. It's an old timer. But what is in this box is without a doubt one of the best buys you will make this year, no doubt. I I have a carving kit. Um, I have spoon knives and I have, you know, a detail knife and I have all kinds of stuff in it. I do, I do some carving. I mainly carve spoons and cups and bowls and stuff like that. I don't do any of the fine intricate things like Sunset Bay Bonnie does. I wouldn't know where to begin. But if you're a carver or a whittler or, you know, even, you know, the best of carvers that do the little figurines and all that stuff, this is something that you really should have. I looked at the carving jacks by, um, oh, who makes those? It's on the tip of my tongue. Of course, it just, whew, it went. And I have a couple of their knives, too. Flexicut. There it is. Flexicut makes the car carving jack or carving jack. It's a little pocket knife. And it has all these different like little gouges and and detail knives and V gouges and chisels and all that good stuff. But the price is ridiculous. I mean, there's a couple different types of the carving jack. Um, you get a left hand or a right hand and you can get some with like eight tools or nine tools, whatever. I don't know. But they're like a hundred and some odd dollars. And when I saw this. And the price for it, I was absolutely floored. This is the Old Timer Splinter Carbon Knife. Yeah, I have a little note over here so I don't forget. Because I really haven't uh, studied it. I really haven't done a lot. I haven't done anything with it. I just basically took it out of the box today. It is 65 MN high carbon steel blades. Um, the old timer saw cut handles. Brass pins and liners. Uh, nickel silver bolsters. I mean, it's just exquisite closed. Um, and heat treated back springs. So, now the blades on this do not lock. As with the carving, the carving jack. Those blades do lock on those. But. Here's one of the gouges. How well you can see that. It's like a little. Uh, uh, like a little spoon gouge you know. I think they call it a. Gouge scorp. On this one. And let me see. I haven't played with it at all, so you'll have to bear with me. Ow. And they're very sharp. And this one looks like a hook blade. You see how it's... Let me put this other one away. No, I'll leave it up for you. There's a little hook to it right there. So you could, like, scoop out a bowl with that. But you just have to be very careful when you're using these. And I will do another video of how to use these the safe way because they don't lock. So you'll want to uh, make sure you're very safe with it. 
This to me looks like the V Scorp, maybe, but look at that. I think that's the V Scorp. I'm not good with technical names of things. It's a gouge, it's a chisel, it's a. This is a straight chisel. The chisel blade. And the thing is, is that these are very, very easy to sharpen. Very easy. I mean, basically, if you use it for a little while, you just have to put a strop on it. That's really all you have to do. Oh, no, I'm sorry. This is the V gouge. It's hard to get a good shot of that. This is the V gouge. So this one here I don't know I don't know what it's called I'll have to do some some studying oh my god they're sharp and this here they gotta be very careful I want the band-aids all over this is the detail blade so we have a detail blade the V gouge in the chisel. Then we have the hook blade, the V scorp, which is over there, and the gouge scorp. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six carving tools on this knife. Get them up there so you can see them. I mean, and that's really all you need in your pocket if you're just going to sit down and whittle a stick. But I got it to carry. and It's not going to go in my carving kit. Um, making a Bushcraft EDC kit. But this tool is really cool for like uh, notches and, you know, making pot hangers and tent pegs and clothespins and, you know, you name it. And you can also get a spoon out of it. I mean, it might take you a little bit longer to get the bowl hollowed out or whatever, but you can definitely get a spoon out of this blade. Definitely. So this will be going in my Bushcraft EDC pouch or bag. It's going to be a little, you know, like a little uh, admin pouch type deal, like a Maxpedition pouch. I think I got the Maxpedition mini to put all that stuff in. But anyway, I ramble. $30 for this blade. 30 bucks just to throw in your pocket, throw it in your pack, uh, make a little sheath for it, and you have everything you need, basically, to work around camp. I just thought it was a great buy. I, like I said, I looked at the, the, the carving jacks from... Uh, there it goes again. Flexicut. <laughs> Whoa, I'm getting old. And I just couldn't see spending over $100 on a pocket knife, you know, that has little tools on it like that. It, it, it was quite expensive. Even for me, I didn't think, you know, it was a good buy. I mean, yeah, yeah I mean, FlexiCut makes great tools. I have one of their detail knives myself, and I love it. It stays sharp forever. And, you know, you can't beat them. But for the amount of work that I would do with the flex cut. It's just the carving jack wouldn't be feasible. Like I said, if I was, you know, a master carver or I made little figurines or something, then maybe, but you know, I make spoons and, you know, uh, just camp stuff, pot hangers and stuff like that. But yeah, 30 bucks, old timer. Check them out. Not very happy with it. I can't wait to get it, you know, Get to use it and see how it performs. Uh, Cole Craven uh, did a video on it. And uh, it performed well. He was very happy with it. Also, I believe William Collins did a video about it. And he's very pleased with it. So that tells you right there. Uh, two top-notch guys. Two, two great channels. Very happy with the old-timer. Splinter Carving Knife. So... There you go. I just wanted to share it with you guys. 
give you my first impressions. And yeah, so that's it. Thanks for watching. Go check them out. I'll try to leave a link below to where I got this from. Uh, so if you want to go read all the specs on it yourself and see, there you go. All right. As always, thanks, and I'll see you on the next one.